What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here again today. We're going to try to make this as quick as possible because I'm hungry as hell. So a few of you sent me a tweet related to a rumor about Nev Campbell and Melissa Barrera and these right circumstances that were brought up by Nev this past weekend. Now, there's also been some of you reading my tweets, wanting clarity on what I've heard and if it correlates to this rumor that's now gained over thousands of likes. And I will say to answer that, yes, it does correlate to what I've heard. So I just wanted to clear the room, if you will, or clear the air. I will say this is a step in the right direction, even if nothing comes from it. I do find this to be a genuine step in the right direction, which could be true and just nothing comes from it. And I will say I trust that is true, given where it's coming from and the track record that this person has had. Now, I do want to firstly start off with a quote that had a little more meat on it than what I saw from Variety. Nev Campbell told this to The Hollywood Reporter at the same event on Saturday. She said, I know things are spinning at the moment and I would imagine they are spinning at the top trying to figure out what they're going to do. I would not be surprised to get a call, but at the same time, I made a strong statement a few years ago, which is I do not believe that the way I was treated would have happened if I had been a male and that I deserve a certain thing for having carried this franchise for as long as I have. We have to stand up for women in this business and know what we're worth. Now pay attention there. We have to stand up for women. That hasn't changed for me. So if they were to come back to me, it would have to be with a respectful offer that I felt was, felt was in keeping with what I bring to this franchise. Would I do it? There are millions of fans out there of this franchise. These movies mean a lot to people. They mean a lot to me. They mean a lot to Kevin Williamson. They meant a lot to Wes Craven. They meant a lot to all of these cast members. And we all would love to see this franchise continue. I would hate to see it burn. So we'll see. Then here's a remix version of what she told IndieWire. She said, it's sad to me that they're struggling at the moment. I would imagine that the people at the top are spinning a little bit, trying to make the right decision. Make the right decision. <laughs> I think I would imagine people want to do the right thing, <laughs> I would hope. I love this franchise. I love it for Wes Craven. I love it for all these people who've been involved and even the newer cast. <laughs> I would hope it doesn't fall apart. So we know Nev Campbell, of course, is on Spyglass's wish list as Variety reported. But it looks like some truth has come from Beyond the Mask post right before Christmas because I have heard that Nev Campbell seems to be using Spyglass's desperation to get a fair deal first and foremost, of course, for herself, but also trying to use this as a pathway to get Melissa Barrera back on good terms, who Spyglass have actually already met with her once again, thanks to Nev Campbell, regarding how to make things right. Of course, this is all rumored, but chances are the only way this will ever be confirmed is if we get a miraculous announcement about Nev Campbell and Melissa Barrera starring in Scream 7 together after Barrera was initially fired. Just because Spyglass and Barrera have met again doesn't mean she'll do 7. It could be something as simple as, okay, we'll come up with something for you to appear in the future and leave the door open for you to return to this franchise. I personally think Melissa should tell them to shove off, but again, she may have known about Spyglass's beliefs and was still going to work with them until she was fired. I brought that up. They weren't. She wasn't the one who made a big deal about it. It was Spyglass. So if both parties are being professional and reasonable, absolutely get her back on board and tell the dual story with Sam and Sydney. I said in my previous video that Nev doesn't have to defend Melissa the way we think she should publicly because nine times out of 10, both of them know why they can't present themselves a certain way in public. They know more about the situation than we do. And there's definitely a reason for the silence that is upsetting so many. These studios will indeed work themselves to the bone for a good public image. And if you think otherwise, you're just being foolish. Melissa just took a photo with her Scream co-stars and the love between them all seems rather apparent despite the vision being created by strangers like us who do not know them personally. All I'm trying to get is that there are definitely ways that these studios can keep people silent. Melissa knows about it. Her co-stars know about it. So it's real easy for us to be on the outside looking in saying, hey, this person isn't standing up for so-and-so. Maybe there's a reason for that. And the person you want them to actually be standing up for knows why they're not speaking on it and they're not coming down on them. Just stuff to consider. Do not underestimate what these studios do. So 
and yes i will say the selfish right circumstances still for me are going to still definitely be linked to spyglass relinqu relinquishing or somehow selling the rights but that's just not reality and i don't care to be divorced from reality like some do nev possibly using her position to possibly get melissa back on good terms is quality behavior on her part especially with some now dragging her online the post that i've seen about oh nev campbell is this that and then the third you know people will shock you when you when you want to quickly label people these negative things and they turn around to do good deeds for you that tends to humble you i've i've been on that side of side of the stick or that side of the stick that tends to really humble you so i hope we get some positive news about this sooner rather than later but yes nev 100 percent using her position to possibly get melissa back on good terms is quality behavior on her part i also don't know how any of these alleged meetings with barrera went uh but again they they allegedly met again spyglass and melissa barrera but i'd imagine it must go well if you want nev back or they could just tell both ladies you know to go f yourself and <laughs> dig themselves an even bigger hole we'll just have to see how this all works out let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future i guess i will also say this while melissa barrera is continuing to stand her ground and speak up for what she believes in i will re recircle back to the, the, the topic i brought up of keep in mind these studios will work overtime to keep people silent notice how she hasn't said anything herself directly about what spyglass did she's just said silence is not an option for me and she addressed those false allegations they put out against her when they labeled her anti-semitic and all that other stuff but she hasn't overly directly said anything about the firing just think about that she's she's also at the center of it and her herself has not spoken up the way people want these co-stars to speak up there's a reason for that but i will see you guys in the next video